Hello, and welcome back to My Dad Made Me Do It. Today, we are getting ready to go hunting. Yes, muzzleloader season to be exact. And I have my, my tiny microphone here because it helps with audio. Yeah, we're going to go muzzleloader hunting. Uh, muzzleloader is, if you don't know, it's like a modern day musket, basically. It's, you load it from the muzzle, put a little cap in the in the rear of it, and then you just, you know, you know, single shot type thing, like a musket. Um, and we're going to be, today we're getting ready, and we're going to head out tomorrow, and um, we're going to stay for Monday, Tuesday, five days. Yes, five days. Um, and we're just going to see what we can get into, and I'm going to document my journey. This is the first year I've had YouTube, so I figured, you know what? Let's do a YouTube video because, um, yeah, my upload schedule is non-existent. It's absolute trash. I am a procrastinator, first. And secondly, I'm just bad, okay? I'm bad at this whole social media thing. And I lack a schedule, actually. I just upload whenever I feel like it. Sometimes when I feel like it, I don't upload. And I think it's been a good month or and a half or so since I uploaded my last video. And I just... I need to get better. I need to get better. But, um, yeah, we're just going to go and we're going to get ready and we're going to document our journey. We're going to line up rifles today and get all packed up and head off into the wilderness. Like true Bushmen. It's target time, baby. Let's get it. One slight problem. I'm not sure where our little uh, staple gun is, so got to look for it. Update. I found it. I'm going to try to, now I'm going to try to uh, do this with uh, one hand. Sorry, you can see me. There we go. With one hand. This is going to be, um, I'm going to put the camera down for that, actually. It is done. Good job. It is good. Very good. You know what that means. It's about time to shoot, baby. Let's go gonna go up and get our guns ready and fire away we're gonna get these suckers lined up so we can get some deers this week let's go And perfect. Just a little bit high there and there. Okay, so we're looking pretty good so far. Got some pretty good results back here. I'm gonna go down here and uh, get a good view of it. Mine was a bit off at first, so bottom right, middle, and then top. Always shot at all three of those targets independently, and then the middle is where I decided on. Uh, being originally so I got a good eh, half good inch one inch group I'd say okay so guns are lined up and we are ready to uh, pretty much ready to head out we're just gonna finish up some packing that's not too exciting stuff I'm not trying to put too much of this day in this video just cuz you know it's not like it's not the exciting stuff that people really want to see so I'm trying to keep this to the fun stuff which is hunting and all that good stuff so uh, yeah, we're going to finish camp, uh, sorry, my words got jumbled, <laughs> finish packing up, and then, uh, we're going to get headed out, see you guys at some point. It is, at this moment, 1237, and we are about ready to head out, grabbing a quick charger, and, uh, yeah, then we're going to be off, I'll see you guys on the road.
So we just stopped at Walmart. See that? Uh, to get some groceries. We're refueling right now, and um, the time now is 4:57. So yeah, it's um, takes a while to drive up here from where we were. So, but we're gonna refuel and then it's just home free from here going straight to camp so yeah we'll see you guys when we get there I guess So we got here, we made it, we're fine. I'm almost too tall for this. I just hit my head on the roof, yes. Um, uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, we just finished getting unpacked and everything. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing really big happening. This lighting is terrible. There we go. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. Finished getting unpacked, got everything ready and um, yeah, um, I guess that's pretty much it. Until tomorrow. See you guys in a bit. Pond. Oh, this terrible pond has gone down even more than last year. That is terrible. You guys weren't here last year, but it was low last year. But it's, it's down. It's down. Good morning. It is apparently 5.24 in the morning and we are getting ready to head out. We're gonna see if we can uh, get some today. Let's go. So I'm all dripped out. You can't see me. I'm all dripped out. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna head out and see if we can get some this morning. Let's go. So the morning hunt is done. We saw a couple up at the top of the ridge, but not in a good position or near close enough for to get shot. So we're packing back out and we're gonna hit a new location tonight. Hopefully get some. Time for the evening hunt and the temperature has raised quite dramatically from what it was this morning. Uh, it's pretty good. It's 212 right now. So we're heading out. We're going to go up to another, to a different farm, Christmas tree farm that is, different farm. And that's where we're, uh, that's where we're going to hunt. And I won't be, probably won't be uh, filming as much. Um, I didn't film much this morning. I'll try probably tomorrow morning film a little bit more, but probably won't be filming as much. Um, this evening, just because um, we got other people coming with us, so I don't really want to disturb them or anything. Because, uh, you know, some people, may they may not, uh, that may not be too courteous to the people that are coming with us. So I'm not going to be filming as much. Uh, if I get one, I'll film a little. If we get one, I'll film a little bit of it, you know, that stuff. But we're going to head out now and uh i'll see you guys when i see you guys so yeah we made it okay so i don't know if we doubled up but they're they're two down right now i don't know if the other one's dead but one of them is there's two down right now. Don't really know what they are. We haven't moved, but I couldn't get the camera out in time to actually film the shots. They just ran out in front of us here. Like right down through there, and there's one laying down there, and then one. I don't really know where it's at, but yeah, we've took 
down to and it's just about dark it is really dark right now for the camera but the front camera is working pretty good so uh, yeah we're gonna walk up on them in a minute and see where see what the uh, what the 20 is so there's more in the woods there was one blowing just now and just heard it take off up through that way so we're about to walk up on them now so I don't know how well this camera's gonna do yeah there you go I don't know if you can hear that but they're blowing there's several of them I don't know how well this camera's gonna do but and here we go let's see let's see what we got here this was a kind of a rush rush shot but anyhow that's a good looking deer but on the second one gotta keep track you got a good trail just gotta find it now working to find the source right now got her got him drug down here one Ooh. Big old doze. This and in order to field dress this one in specific, since this is the one I killed. And my dad got that one. Uh I'm gonna be using a I don't know if you can see this. Ooh. Where's the Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Joker. It's a Joker knife. And uh, this thing's pretty sweet. Not sponsored, by the way. But I would definitely recommend if you have some deer that need to be field dressed. Get you a joker. They're worth it. I will also share, uh, spare you the process that is field dressing a deer. Because it's not something that I think will be very welcome on YouTube. So we're going to skip that part. And... Um, I'll see you guys when I see you. <laughs> We're going to get these things field dressed and loaded up. Okay, so we got in. We unloaded the deer. We've already skint them as well as skint a, another one that uh, my granddad got this morning. And we went ahead and skinned both of them, got the hides off of them while they were warm to make it easier. We're going to let them firm up overnight, and then tomorrow... After we get back from hunting tomorrow morning, we'll finish butchering them, working them up, cutting up the meat, and everything like that. I just got a shower, um, which isn't very fun in a small in a smallish camper, but you know, gotta stay clean. So, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. So, thanks for tuning in. If you have this far, I'll see you guys in the morning whenever we uh, skirt skirt on to shoot some more deers, hopefully. See you then. So now we've seen a grand total of five today. We just seen two more on top of the ridge over there. And then one came down into a road over here. And we shot it like five or six times. And we still don't know if it's hit good or not. So we'll see. It's been here. We have blood and blood. But uh, I just seen it go up through that road, so we gotta go track it now. We found him, and we had to traverse that. And we're gonna have to traverse that back up and over to get him out of here. But, oh, yeah, yeah. little three point. Pretty fair side bodied deer. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Three, maybe four That's points, good. something like that. Yeah. So I realized just a little while ago that I did not film an intro for today. Not an intro, but like, you know, a video before we were actually at the farm. But um, we're going back to the same place tonight. We're not changing location. We had to work up some deer in that location is farther than location we were at this morning so we're gonna go back there 
and we're gonna see if we can uh, get some more. We're gonna get things done. So yeah, see y'all when we get there. No blood or nothing. So we must have just clipped his front leg a little bit, just enough to get him to hold it up. But he was moving on all fours whenever he shot at him the second time and he was moving pretty good. And it's been about 30, 45 minutes now. If he was moving that good after that amount of time, there wasn't no fatal shots. So we're just gonna roll out and I guess we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna go back to camp and work up a couple more deer and then uh, we're gonna call it a day. So I reckon I will see y'all in the morning. As of now, we have one confirmed kill. I just saw it drop right up in the woods. We have two potentials. One up on the ridge up here. Don't know if it's dead or not. Don't even know if it's still there. And one down across this middle ridge right down in there. So we're gonna go check on them in just a minute. But that one up there is got a good shot on it so the one down in the first holler here I shot the one up on the far ridge over there dad shot and then the one up here that we know is for a fact is dead dad shot also so we've seen about seven or so today so keep you updated okay so he just went to go and see if he and drag that one the confirmed kill back down here to uh to where we are down there to where we usually got them and then whenever he gets back we're gonna hop on over this ridge right here the camera flattens everything out but this ridge right here gonna go up and over that and down on the back side should be where my deer is the other one that I shot earlier this morning and then up right in there I'd say is about where that the other potential is or would be if it's dead because he shot it down down in he shot it down in there and it ran up to right Right there, ah, focus messed up. Right in there. And then I shot at it and missed it to try to finish it off. And then moved up over the ridge and then we saw it limp up there and disappear, limp right up to the top there and disappear over the backside. And then we seen it come back, go up and it came down this way a little bit and then it disappeared and we didn't see nor did we hear any more movement coming from that area so pretty eh, not pretty sure but there's a 50 50 chance it's dead um it's a potential gut shot so but we're we're pretty sure that the uh the my deer is dead the buck that i shot this morning is dead so i don't know we're gonna look we got one a little unicorn there. See that? That uh, other two? No idea. Not even blood on them, so I don't know what to think about it. But uh, we're gonna check zero on our guns when we get back to camp, and then whenever we uh, guess we'll adjust from there, and then we're gonna head to a another new location tonight so yeah i reckon i will see y'all whenever we get to the new location i'd say so yeah see you then okay so yes i'm in short sleeves it got to be 70 around here um and it was like 
40 this morning, but you know, it's whatever. So we're lining up right now, re realigning. They were both, both of the rifles were out of alignment. That's the reason we kept missing. So we're realigning them and we're not actually going to that new location because we realigned the guns and everything. So that took a little while and it's pretty far away. So we're not going to go to the new location. We'll go to the new location tomorrow evening. So today we're going back to that same location, same farm. And then in the morning we'll probably go back to the same farm because it's it's really active there. So don't really see a need in going anywhere else. And then tomorrow evening we're going to go to that new place. And then once we get back, we're going to pack up. And Friday morning we're going to head out because it's supposed to rain starting at like one in on Friday morning so we're gonna get mostly packed up on tomorrow night and then Friday morning we're gonna head out but I'll see you guys when we get to the hunt spot we made it we're down here sitting down we got another one he's just asking for it so we had to bag him so currently I am un actually unsure of the plans for tomorrow. Um, so we don't actually know if we're going hunting in the morning because we've got, I mean, plenty of meat. There's no real reason to go hunting again uh, in the morning, that is. But we do want to go scope out that new location tomorrow. Um, so, I don't know if we will be going hunting in the morning. We may stay in kind of late and then sometime maybe after lunch or around midday-ish, we'll head out and go scope out that new location, but currently the plans are unknown and uh, just don't really know what's going to happen right now, but I'll Keep you updated as I get information. Okay, it's warm again. Um, so we already went ahead and all we really did, I got a little bit of video footage of where we were at. Um, I didn't like talk or anything, but I just got a quick overview of where we were at. So. We kind of stayed in a little while this morning um, till about 6.30, 6, 6.30, 6 something like that. Had had a good breakfast instead of a granola bar and peanut butter and crackers. Uh, we had some eggs and stuff. And then we, me, dad, and my granddad all got in the truck and went over to scout that new farm for not next week but week after next because week after next we're coming up for rifle season so this week we were here for muzzleloader black powder uh and then uh next week we are going up coming up sorry coming up because we're already up here for rifle season got a more of a reach um, they're a little bit more consistent when it comes to uh, long-range firing so that's and that new location we're gonna go hunt whenever we have rifles but we're not we didn't really hunt this morning we carried guns just in case we saw a big one but we didn't hunt this morning and we're not gonna hunt this evening we're just gonna get packed up and head home so yeah there I'm not done filming yet not done with the video yet so there will be some more but no more hunt so uh, it's been great we've got f four five deer I think let's see Five, five, five positive is five, I think. Maybe it's just four, I'm not good at math. Sorry for the wind. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm where I was getting to. I gotta clean up a uh, target right now that we kinda 
blasted into pieces so i'm gonna clean that up but yeah i'll see you guys when i see you i guess black powder packs a punch at 100 yards we're getting packed up just finishing loading stuff and then we're going to head out see you guys on the road For those of you curious about the gun I was using, I was using a, let me find it, there we go, CVA Wolf uh, 50 caliber black powder rifle. Um, <coughs> excuse me, with a, oh my goodness, this is difficult, with an Allen uh, sling. I was running a Thompson Center uh, speed loader system here. Uh, and so the open hole is so, when you're not using your gun, you can take your little cap out and you have a place to store it. And I was also running a Thompson Center, oh my goodness, hang on, <laughs> there we go. A Thompson Center, focus, there we go, Hawken Hunter fixed four times magnification by, I believe 32 is the diameter of the scope, I think. So, yeah. Pretty sweet little gun. I think it's got like a 16 inch, 14 inch barrel. I'm not really sure, but since it's black powder, it kind of opens up some more possibilities for barrel lengths because it's not actually technically a firearm. I don't, but I believe. Be sure to look up laws before you, you know, saw off to a six inch barrel. I don't know. I don't know why you would want to do that. But anyway, be sure to look up laws. Don't trust my word, obviously, because you know, things change. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to end the episode right here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm sorry again for my upload schedule. It's difficult. Um, not difficult. I'm just a procrastinator. I'm lazy. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys on the next hunting expedition in which we are going to be taking rifles. High-powered rifles. See you guys. Thank you.